Hi, I'm Danielle and I'm an IBD dietitian. It is so common for people with inflammatory bowel disease to experience nutrient deficiencies. My husband Ari has Crohn's disease and he struggled with complications including severe iron and B12 deficiency. So this YouTube video will provide key information about the 10 nutrient deficiencies to be on high alert for when you have Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. How does Crohn's disease affect nutrient absorption in the body? People with Crohn's disease are at a greater risk for nutrient deficiencies of several vitamins and minerals due to extensive chronic inflammation of the digestive tract, specifically the small intestine where most nutrients are absorbed. Additionally, when factoring in secondary complications from the condition like diarrhea, malabsorption, strictures, and fistulas, the potential for nutrient deficiencies increases. Also, if large portions of the digestive tract are removed, then a Crohn's warrior may not be able to absorb specific nutrients, like if the ileum or the last part of the small intestine is surgically removed, then an IBD warrior wouldn't be able to absorb enough B12 since the primary area where that nutrient is absorbed is the ileum. How does ulcerative colitis affect nutrient absorption in the body? People with UC often have an overall lower risk for vitamin and mineral deficiencies compared to Crohn's, as most nutrients are absorbed in the small intestine before they can reach the colon. However, UC warriors may experience fluid and electrolyte losses with diarrhea and or removal of the large intestine. However, additional deficiencies may occur from other complications like iron deficiency anemia from blood lost in stool, deficiencies from IBD prescription medication side effects, or from inadequate oral intake due to lack of appetite and avoidance of food triggers. Here are the 10 most common IBD vitamin and nutrient deficiencies. Protein, iron, calcium, vitamin D, vitamin B12, folate, potassium, magnesium, copper, and zinc. This YouTube video will briefly talk about each of those 10 nutrients so you can put them on your radar, but for more background information on each nutrient and for more specific food recommendations to boost intake of these nutrients, please visit the full blog on this topic linked in the description of this video. Protein. Protein needs are higher during periods of increased inflammation, like during a Crohn's or UC flare. Needs are also increased if you're taking corticosteroids like prednisone, as corticosteroids increase protein breakdown and loss. All of that means that protein needs may be increased by up to 50%. Iron. When the body's iron stores become very low, a condition known as iron deficiency anemia develops. Some common symptoms include fatigue, shortness of breath, weakness, difficulty maintaining body temperature, pale skin and fingernails, and dizziness. Here are four common reasons why low iron is such a huge problem for people with Crohn's and UC. Inadequate dietary intake of iron. Inadequate absorption of iron, resulting from diarrhea, drug, or supplement interference. Increased blood loss from Crohn's or UC or periods for women and chronic inflammation, which can cause increased destruction of iron stores and or defective iron use. Calcium. You may already know that if you're lactose intolerant or vegan, that it may be hard to consume enough calcium every day. But for people with IBD who are taking corticosteroids like prednisone, a side effect of the medication is bone loss, which puts IBD warriors even more at risk for calcium deficiency and osteoporosis. A severe calcium deficiency can also produce symptoms such as uh, numbness and tingling in the fingers, convulsions, and abnormal heart rhythm. Vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiency has been linked to many chronic health conditions, including Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. 
A person's vitamin D status depends mostly on sunlight exposure, but for people who are medically treated for IBD, they may need to take particular care in the sun because several of the medications can cause photosensitivity. So if this is your situation and you need to wear sunscreen when you go outside, it may not be possible for you to produce enough vitamin D. Vitamin B12. If you have Crohn's disease involving extensive inflammation of the ileum, or if you've had surgery to remove part or all of your ileum, you may have trouble absorbing enough B12 from food alone. People with IBD who have food triggers or intolerances to foods that contain B12, and vegetarians and vegans are also at risk for developing a vitamin B12 deficiency. If you don't get enough vitamin B12, it can cause tingling and numbness in the fingers and toes, or you may feel tired or confused. Folate. IBD increases the risk of folate deficiency, as it might cause the body to absorb less folate than people without this condition. One reason for this is inflammation in the small intestine, but another reason is if you're taking either methotrexate or sulfa drugs, which can cause folate deficiency. Potassium. Most Americans don't get enough potassium through their diets, but there's an increased risk for potassium deficiency for people with IBD who are experiencing chronic vomiting and diarrhea, or are using corticosteroid medications like prednisone. Signs and symptoms of a deficiency include muscle twitches, muscle cramps or weakness, muscles that won't move like paralysis, abnormal heart rhythms, and kidney problems. Magnesium. Magnesium deficiency can be a real nutrient concern for people with IBD, stemming from a lot of diarrhea, avoiding foods that are high in this nutrient, and extensive inflammation in the small intestine. Copper. Even though the body's copper needs are very small, most of the U.S. population doesn't eat the daily recommended amount. And additionally, for people with IBD, especially Crohn's disease, they may develop copper deficiencies related to inflammation. Symptoms of copper deficiency may include anemia, fatigue, numbness or tingling sensations, and loss of vision. Zinc. There's an increased risk of zinc deficiency with extensive inflammation of the jejunum, diarrhea, fistula losses, and prednisone use. Because of this, there's an increased risk of zinc deficiency with Crohn's disease. If the body doesn't get enough zinc, it can cause issues like hair loss, delayed wound healing, and loss of taste. So the take home message here is that many nutrient deficiencies are common in ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. If IBD related nutrient deficiencies are present, please speak to your IBD dietitian and doctor regarding next steps to correct the deficiencies and prevent future ones. For more information about each of these nutrients, like the function each of these have in the body, as well as food sources that each of these nutrients are found in, please visit the full blog on this topic linked in the description of this video. Thanks.